Hello everyone and welcome to Jack Scraps. I am Jackie and thank you for joining me. Um, I am doing a small product review. Stacy in our community asked about the We Are Memory Keepers mini guillotine so I thought I would talk about that a little bit and actually what drew me to purchase it because I wanted to talk about another cutter which is also extremely well. Um, so First of all, I own the Fiskars um, Precision Rotary Bypass Trimmer. That's what this is called. So this was my first purchase after having a small, single, just, you know, the ones with the blades. And I just got tired of replacing the blades all the time. It was just too expensive. So Genevieve Design, um, Jennifer, she recommend this particular brand. And I had a good coupon and was able to get this at a really great price at Jewel Ann. So I would recommend watching that if you are interested in purchasing this larger cutter. And um, I never regretted it, not once, um, investing that much money into it. What's great about this is it does have the two rods and, um, you know, the handle here that moves the blade. You can do it both ways, which is nice. It, the, having the two blades here keeps it steady and not wobbly, so some cutters do get wobbly over time. This one does not. It has this nice finger guard here that is about one and three-fourths inches wide here. Um, you can use it or not. Um, I, I tend not to really push on it to use, but it does help in keeping the materials flat on here. One of the main purposes of why you would want a big cutter trimmer like this is that it does cut thicker and heavier materials. Like I put really like medium size to heavy chipboard in here and it cuts it really well. It is a little, you know, you got to put some energy into it, but it cuts it well, which is awesome. So you have the inches and the centimeters on here. Um, a nice feature is that if you are left or right handed, you would be able to use this with no problem. It also has a locking mechanism that will lock the guard so that when you want to fold it up, it all stays in place and there's no problem with that. So um, two minor negatives would be, one, when you go to get a six, um, six inch measurement or five and three fourths, it is difficult to get it because it is right there where the board splits. So I've just m measured it out and put some black permanent marker on there so that I can tell as a guide. The second is, as you can see, it is extremely large. It takes up a large part of any craft table. So while I love that I can cut my 12 by 12s and even longer actually, it gives you up to 13 inches long. And you could even do longer than that. It does provide you some measurements here on this side too to um, measure out that way. So, but measuring it, you know, using it on your table, it does get to be quite large. So I wanted to invest in a smaller cutter. And when I saw this one, the mini guillotine cutter by We Are Memory Keeper at Tuesday morning, which I just showed you in my haul for $14.99, regularly $24.99, I decided to get it because I thought this would be an excellent size to just keep out on your table and it would be also great for if you are traveling. So let's get into this one a little bit. This is the back side of it. And it has nice rubber feet on it. It is very light and compact. See, the heaviest part is actually over here where the blade is. It does have this nice little hole here where you could hang it up if you wanted to. Um, so that's convenient. Um, let's see, it also has the inches at the top and centimeters at the bottom. And what's nice about this is it has the fourth inch grid on the whole front, but it actually gives you eighth of an inch measurements all the way across, which is nice because not all of the cutters do that. Some go 
in fourth inch measurements. So it's nice to be able to see everyone. The next thing that is great about this is the two inch finger guard. So this pops up a little bit and um, you'll see here it actually has like this lip that stands up so you know there's no chance that your finger is going to get beyond that when you're cutting downward which is nice this can also be removed if you see here on the back side you could just pop this up and it will come out if you wanted to clean it or take it off if you didn't want it on there at all you could certainly do that which is a good feature to have the cutter itself I mean, it just has a fantastic sound, <laughs> I must say. So when you raise the lever, you please be careful because sometimes it does come down just a smidge. Once you put it up, sometimes it does come back down a little bit. Um, but be sure to move this up all the way to make a cut. So um, this is 110 pound cardstock. And this cuts it really well. I'm just going to use this as an example, cutting randomly. Now there I didn't put my fingers on the guide, but you could see it did lift it up a bit, but it still cut it straight. And I must say, this cuts so well. It's um, very flat and crisp cut, and I really like that feature about it. I've also used regular paper in this. So let's do, I've printed these out so I could use as examples. So if you have an eight and a half by 11 page and you turn it landscape, you can definitely put it in here and cut. I imagine even if your page was longer this way, you could just you know, remove the finger guard and you would still be able to use it. So this is probably maybe 28 or so, so you know pound and it cuts it again just very cleanly across there I mean there's no bumping no nothing um, so it's almost like cutting butter very nice the one thing I did find let's see let me get you an example here so let's cut out these tags, right? Okay. Sorry if my head's getting in the way. I'm at a different setup, so I'm not used to this. So you see how much thinner this is than the two inch guard. So if you were going to cut it this way, you would have to be, it's a little difficult, you know, you might wanna remove the finger guard or you would have to for sure go in, make sure this is lifted up and place it where you need it then to make the cut and hold it down that way. So that's the only thing um, that you need to be concerned about in that particular area. I hope that made sense. Just because it's smaller than the two inch guard, it's harder to align it. Just, just a smidge harder to align it. So, um, both of these products are self sharpening. I'm not sure if I said that earlier or not. So they will never dull and you will never have to replace the blade, which is awesome. And um, let's see, this does have a film on it when you first buy it, just to protect the surface, which is kind of, mm, that's really nice and soft. So, you know, just be sure to remove that once you get it and you are starting to use it. It will cut three sheets at a time. So if you had three of these, it would cut right through each of them all at one time. And like I said, it was cutting 110 pound with no problem. And this is definitely easier to have on the desk and takes up minimal space and is great for travel. I just want to reiterate that. And let's see, anything else? I think that.
that's it. They both have great construction, so you feel like you're getting a good product. The only thing I found for me personally is that I was so used to this heavier trimmer that I tend to kind of fling this one around a bit when I'm putting paper in it or cutting it because it's so lightweight, so I'm not really used to that. So it'll take some um, getting familiar with it to know that no, I don't need to lift it up or just to be a little bit careful on how I'm um, using it. So I think that's it, everyone. I hope this was useful for you, uh, Stacy, as well as others. And I thank you for, for putting the question out there. So everyone, that's it for now. See you next time.